five RC kicks in a day. We've got a performance review on the KD-7. All right, y'all, so starting off with that traction, you see you've got that storytelling traction. A lot of crazy details in there, twists and turns. Works really well. The groove's actually really thick, so these are definitely pretty dope for outdoors and indoors, and it's stuck to all surfaces for me. I did not have a problem with these. And then right in the middle, you got this torsional support piece. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but I know that's supposed to help your foot twist and turn, like in these motions. So I definitely think that's a dope touch. Definitely a nice help to the athlete's foot. Come to the cushion, got a zoom bag right there, and then you've got this 360 uh, zoom air in the heel, which is the first time we've seen it since it was on the LeBron 10. Um, definitely a dope touch there. You see those, those nice lines with the sun peeking through. Definitely like that touch, and it's definitely very comfortable in the heel. And the zoom bag in the front definitely does its job. It's a nice big zoom bag. Definitely gets the job done. All right, so breathability in the shoe is definitely a nice touch. Got all mesh up here in the toe box, which definitely makes it uh, for better better fit, which I'll get into later. Um, but the tongue is all mesh. There are some underlays underneath it, and then inside, not sure if you guys can see that, but it's all nylon in there, so it kind of prevents some of the breathability, but it definitely gets the job done in the toe. Definitely a nice feature on the shoe. All right, so for fit on the shoe, like I said earlier, this mesh definitely helps with the fit of the shoe. In previous KDs, um, we've seen that Kevin Durant actually has a very narrow foot, but with the mesh, it allows all players to be able to fit in these well. I've got the opposite of KD, got a wide foot. You guys have probably heard that before, but uh, these definitely work for me. And this is, I just went true to size on these. So 12, get a 12, definitely a good look there. All right, locked down in the heel. Uh, you've got this posit material. Well, actually on this shoe, it's more of a, some type of leather, kind of plasticky leather in the back. Um, but you do have a nice piece of uh, plastic in the back to keep you held down back there. I uh, had no slippage issues, nothing at all. It was definitely a, a dope part in the shoe. Absolutely no problems. Durability on the shoe. Um, I mean, the mesh in the front, it's similar to the Hyper Rev, the original Hyper Rev. Um, so it can get torn up. It's not as shitty as the Hyper Rev. The mesh here is uh, definitely strong enough to, to hold everything together and not get too ripped up. And then you've got this um, Hyper Fuse in the toe to try to prevent some of your toe drags from ripping up the mesh. So it's definitely fine there. And then in the back, you've got the posit on most KDs. Back here, you kind of got the leather, but it still definitely works. There's no real problems with it. You might get a little paint scraped off, but if you're hooping, you really don't care if this isn't as much of a casual shoe for you as it is for a performance model. So it definitely works there. All the, all the materials are definitely well made, just standard Nike stuff, and it's definitely good for a signature shoe. Overall, the KD7 is definitely a great hoop shoe in my opinion. My favorite in my rotation, although this colorway is really, I don't know, I really like this colorway. It's my favorite shoe that I own, as well as the favorite shoe that I play in. Um, so I definitely don't play in these all the time because they can get beat up just as any hoop shoe can. But I do enjoy hooping in these when I do. The cushion is great on these. I, I didn't know that the one zoom bag would be enough, but it's perfect for me as well as in the heel. So it's definitely a dope shoe. I definitely uh, think you guys should pick these up. I mean, finishline.com, any website really. It's still got KD7s around, although they're probably the worst colorways. Not these bad boys right here. Thanks for watching, y'all.